After waiting for a while, Grandpa Lu packed the things and took them out to pack into Yi Xian's car. Grandpa Lu held Yi Xian's hand and looked at the Bugatti with a smug expression as he looked at the group of old men sitting by the roadside chatting. Xiao Xian, I forgot what you said this car was called. What was it? Yi Xian looked at the old men beside the car and immediately understood that this was the time when Grandpa Lu needed to show off. He immediately said, It's called a Bugatti. It's a foreign brand. Oh, a foreign brand. That must be very expensive. Grandpa Lu spoke deliberately and raised his voice. It's all right. I don't know much, but Sister Yin Ran knows. Sigh. If you drive such a good car, it must be very expensive to refuel. Grandpa Lu looked at the old men smugly. Does it cost hundreds of yuan to refuel? Yes. Yi Xian quickly cooperated. Those old men muttered one after another, their eyes filled with envy for Grandpa Lu. Grandpa Lu walked over and looked at Yi Xian before laughing. Little Xian is so sensible. Grandpa Lu, I cooperated well, right? You did very well. Those old men are envious of me. Grandpa Lu just wanted to be in the limelight, so Yi Xian cooperated with him. Seeing that it was getting late, Yi Xian said, Grandpa, we'll be on our way first. It would take a few hours to return to the city from Grandpa Lu's house. If he left now, he would arrive at night. Otherwise, he would have to stay overnight. Grandpa Lu was instantly reluctant. Why don't you stay for a night before leaving? Lu Yinran said, Grandpa, we still have work tomorrow. We'll come back when we're free. I placed something under your blanket. Grandpa Lu was instantly dissatisfied. He knew at a glance that Lu Yinran must have been afraid that he wouldn't accept it and secretly placed the money when he wasn't paying attention. Why do I need money? I have money. It's good that you can come back often. I left this bit of money for you. We even have mountains. As he spoke, Grandpa Lu lowered his voice. There are a few mountains in the family. They will all be yours in the future. I'll keep them for you as a dowry. I have money. Others had mines, but he had mountains. He was still a baller. Lu Yinran chuckled and thought to herself that she was also a baller. However, she knew that the mountains that her family owned only contained ordinary forests that did not produce anything in a year. The most valuable thing was some wood. However, she was working well now and had a lot of income in a year. She didn't need these mountains at all. Okay, I only know that these mountains will be mine in the future. When I retire, I'll come back and live here. Grandpa Lu also smiled. Since you're leaving, go say goodbye to the neighbors. I'll take a look when I have time and send the chicken over to you. Grandpa Lu was worried about the chickens at home. After Lu Yinran left, he would find a time to kill it and get the chicken wings out. Didn't he raise chickens for Lu Yinran to eat? Yi Xian knew that Grandpa Lu would definitely talk to Lu Yinran, so he took the initiative to walk away and did not pay attention. Although the conditions in the countryside were not good, the scenery and air could not be felt in the city. At this moment, a few women suddenly appeared outside the village. The group of elders at the entrance of the village felt that they were an eyesore. These people were dressed too plainly and coldly. One of them was wearing a spaghetti strap short-sleeved shirt. Her hair was as red and green as a rooster crown, as if someone had splashed paint on it. There were earrings like chains hanging from her ears, and she walked with gusto. Aren't you afraid of tearing off your ears? These earrings are as big as my cow's nose ring. SK SK. The elders in the village could not stand this and were afraid that others would hear them. So they muttered a few words and did not say anything else. Facing the strange gazes of the elders in the village, these women did not care at all. They walked with the wind, bold and confident. These people quickly passed through the village and ran towards the dog factory on the opposite side. At this moment, one of them pulled the leader and said, Sister, look over there. Wu Jinxin was an internet celebrity. She immediately looked over and her eyes lit up. Are those dogs in the car? They've put a lot of cages. The car was filled with cages that were filled with dogs. There was a car parked at the entrance of the dog factory. A few men carried dogs out of the factory with one hand. A man was giving the dogs an injection outside. Then, these injected dogs were loaded into the car. Wu Jinxin's mind worked and her eyes lit up. They're torturing dogs. Wu Jinxin felt that she was too smart and discovered big news. As an internet celebrity who posted pet-related content, 
Wu Xinxi knew her fans too well. Those fans hated dog abuse the most. Her fans treated their pets like family members. If they saw someone abuse a dog, wouldn't they explode? She felt that her chance had come. What a big theme. At this moment, a dog ran out from the dog factory. Then, a few people came out of the factory with nets and caught the dog. One of them walked over and grabbed the dog. He used his hand to check the dog's mouth. The dog's whining made Wu Xinxin extremely excited. Then, the dog was loaded into the car. Wu Xinxin's team immediately took out a DSLR to record this scene. It didn't take long for Wu Xinxin to think of a title. This is inhumane. What did the dogs do? Wu Xinxin immediately uploaded the video to her Weibo and WeChat moments. Immediately, her Weibo and WeChat exploded. Countless fans who followed her received a notification immediately. What? This person is too cruel. The dogs are so pitiful. This is dog abuse. This can't be tolerated. Dogs also have lives. Dogs are good friends of humans and loyal to their masters. However, how do humans treat dogs? Why should a dog deserve this? This kind of thing is simply heinous. The person in the photo is a human in vain. Living on the same earth as such a person is simply unbearable. Seeing that countless people on her Weibo and WeChat had sent her private messages, and that the number of fans began to increase exponentially, Wu Jinxin smiled and felt that she should add fuel to the fire. When she looked at the village beside her, she immediately imagined a story of an unscrupulous dog trafficker stealing a dog. The innocent villagers were heartbroken but could not seek justice. Wu Jinxin looked at the team and was secretly pleased. This article would definitely be popular. Quick, give me the notebook. I'll write a manuscript now. We're going to be famous this time. Wu Jinxin's team was very professional. They had a clear division of labor. She was in charge of writing titles and publishing manuscripts, and the other personnel were in charge of collecting materials. After a while, the group of people was arranged and started to take action. Some went to the entrance of the dog factory to take photos, pretending to be tourists passing by to ask for information, while some went to the village to interview the villagers. Of course, what the villagers said was not important at all. They just needed photos of the interview. Then, they would edit the content of the interview themselves. It didn't take long for Wu Jinxin to write a short essay. The general meaning was that she happened to pass by and saw someone abusing a dog. Then, she launched an in-death investigation. She wanted to expose these dog abusers to protect the dog and give the dog justice. My dears, don't worry. After encountering such a thing, I definitely won't ignore it. I'll investigate to the end. The dog is our good friend. This kind of scum who abuses dogs doesn't deserve to live in this world. After posting the article, Wu Xinxin continued to upload all kinds of photos and videos to make the topic even more explosive. When Wu Xinxin saw her number of friends increase exponentially by tens of thousands, she was very happy, as if she had drunk cold water on a summer day. She suddenly discovered a channel to gain fans. As her short articles and viral photos circulated on the internet, more people began to pay attention to Wu Xinxin. The topic of dog abuse surged on the hot topics. In a short while, it rushed to the top 10, top 5, and finally stopped at the first place. Countless netizens left comments on Wu Xinxin's post when they saw the photos of the dog being abused. This person is a beast. He's simply worse than a beast. Calling him a beast is an insult to a beast. I can't stand it anymore. I really can't stand it anymore. Seeing the dog being abused, I can't hold back my tears. Please tell me where this is. That's right. Please announce the address. We must save these cute lives. Dogs, sorry. We're sorry we were born human. Please reveal the address. We'll all save the dog. Looking at the petitions of countless people on Weibo, Wu Xinxin was overjoyed. Her team members were all excited. Sister, the number of fans has broken through again and increased again. It's already at 7 million now. We're still the number one trending topic on Weibo. There are also many big verified accounts reposting it. The other verified accounts were just trying to ride on her popularity. Wu Zhan was instantly unhappy. These verified accounts are really shameless. However, when Wu Xinxin thought about it, she realized that she was the one who started the matter. She was the center of popularity after all, so she immediately didn't care. Sister, the number of fans has broken through 7 million. 
your fans are increasing so quickly. The number of Wu Jinxin's Weibo fans kept breaking records. Seeing the number of fans change continuously, Wu Jinxin was so excited that she almost cried. It was too easy for fans to come. However, there was still the last wave. As long as she exposed the address, her popularity would increase again. Wu Jinxin didn't dare to think about it anymore. She immediately announced the address on Weibo. She even recorded a video of the dog factory and uploaded it to the internet. We're with the dog. For a moment, countless fans started their cars and drove out of the city to protect the dogs. Meanwhile, Lu Yinran finally bade farewell to the elders in the village. When the villagers knew that Lu Yinran was leaving, they came out to send her off and sent her off with many fruits and eggs. Yi Xian's car couldn't even fit the items anymore. A Bugatti wasn't suitable for storing things, but the villagers were too enthusiastic. Lu Yinran wanted to reject them, but the villagers stuffed them into her hands and ran away. Yi Xian wanted to laugh to death. Lu Yinran was speechless and quickly looked at Yi Xian. Yi Xian could only help carry the things. Let's see where else we can store things. The villagers are so enthusiastic. Yi Xian used all the available space in the car before putting the items down. Grandpa Lu laughed. Xiao Xian, next time, come and drive a car that can hold things. This car is good looking but useless. This was not used to store goods, sir. Yes, I understand. Yi Xian could only nod at Grandpa Lu's words. A grandfather would always be a grandfather. His thoughts were different from others. Grandpa Lu will leave first, said Yi Xian. Then, Yi Xian and Lu Yin ran got into the car together. Yi Xian teased, I didn't expect you to be so popular in the village. Of course. Lu Yin ran raised her chin proudly. Young master, were you envious when you saw how popular I am? Yi Wan Lafit called it. Was she being arrogant? Am I not popular in the company? If you don't believe me, let's go back to the company to take a look. As long as Yi Xian went to the company, he would definitely be the most popular figure. Lu Yinran snorted and glanced at Yi Xian arrogantly. Young master, do you think I'm stupid? Ah. Uh. Suddenly, Lu Yinran let out a scream. The cars in front of her suddenly changed lanes and rushed over. Lu Yinran looked at the cars that suddenly rushed over. She was instantly shocked. At this moment, even an intellectual professional woman like Lu Yinran could not help but explode. This was because there was a large truck in front of her. Not only did these cars suddenly cut off the road, but they also forced the large truck in front of her to rush over. If she was not careful, there would be a traffic accident. However, Yi Xian was in the car. It was not easy for the big truck to break. The tires of the big truck let out an ear-piercing sound, and white smoke was produced from the friction. The front of the truck was tilted towards the guardrail by the roadside. As long as the driver braked a step slower, a traffic tragedy would follow. Lu Yinran shuddered when she thought of the scene of a traffic accident. She looked at Yi Xian beside her in fear. If the truck in front didn't brake and flipped sideways, it would definitely affect her, who was behind the truck. What if her young master? At this moment, at the front, the driver's chest heaved violently and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. His eyes were filled with panic as he looked ahead at a loss. The scene just now kept echoing in his mind. If he had flipped over just now, everything would have been over. He might have even died. Even if he didn't die, he would probably have been crippled. What was wrong with those small cars? Were they crazy? Did they want to die or something? Did they dare to rush in front of a large vehicle? At the thought of this, the driver was furious. If he did not turn the steering wheel and reacted a little slower, the people in the small car would not be able to escape death. Even if they did not die, they would be severely injured. The place just now was too dangerous. Hence, he opened the car door and jumped out. He pointed at the two cars and scolded them. Why did you block my truck? Do you want to die? If you want to die, don't die here. You even crossed the solid line. Are you crazy? When the surrounding people saw the driver's expression, they were stunned. Then, they took out their phones and recorded a video. Families, we've already arrived at the place Baby Wu mentioned. Everyone, take a look. This is the face of the dog thief. Look at him. He still dares to be so arrogant after stealing a dog. Everyone, look at his fierce appearance. It's said that one's appearance comes from their heart. It's true. 
How can there be such scum in society? It's really a waste of air for them to live. It's a waste of land for them to die. They're just doing things that go against their conscience. When I was young, my grandparents raised a particularly obedient and cute little yellow dog. He was especially close to me. No matter how long I went back, he would always recognize me at a glance. Later, when I went home one time, Xiao Huang was already gone. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find him. I went to all the places in the backyard of the front village. I searched everywhere he might have gone. Later, I found out that Xiao Huang had left me forever and left us. It was because of these dog thieves. My family, I finally caught these dog thieves. Everyone, look at their faces. How detestable. As a dog lover, I really condemn this behavior and reprimand it. This video will record the actions of the dog thief. Everyone, remember to like and repost it. Let us use the power of the internet to bring him to justice. The driver looked around in confusion. When he saw everyone raising their phones and cursing, he was also puzzled. Steal a dog? What dog had he stolen? When had he ever stolen a dog? These dogs were meat that he had bought. When had he ever stolen a dog? Instead, he wanted to blame the dangerous actions of these people just now. He had spent all his savings to buy this truck, just to expand his business and earn more money. If his truck had been overturned and damaged just now, or if something happened to his body, what would happen to his family? He still had two children at home who had to go to school. The expenses of the family were all on him. This burden was so heavy. How could he carry it if he passed away? How could he make up for it? At the thought of this, the driver was even more afraid and furious. Seeing that the driver did not take any further action, everyone got out of the car. As they raised their cell phones to record a video, they cursed. Where's your conscience? Has your conscience been eaten by a dog? Why would you do such a thing? You're an adult. Why would you do such a thing? Your mother must be dead. You're really scum. How can there be someone like you in society? Luckily, we caught him this time. I wonder how many years he's been doing this and how many dogs he's harmed. You even caught a truck full of dogs. You useless thing. Quickly let go of all the dogs. Do you believe that we'll call the police immediately and let them arrest you to educate you? Yes, let them go. Let the dogs go. If I see you do such a thing again in the future, I'll beat you up every time I see you. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Relying on their numbers, everyone was not afraid that the driver would do anything out of line. As they cursed, they ordered the driver to release the dogs. The driver stood rooted to the ground and looked at these people in shock. He had seen some news and knew what these people meant. He did not expect to meet dog lovers by coincidence. However, if he released all the dogs in the car, how much would he lose? His family wouldn't even have the money to eat for a few years. He still had to pay tuition fees and books for the two children at home, as well as utility bills. He was also at a loss regarding his old mother's medical fees. How could he encounter such a thing? At this moment, Yi Xian and Lu Yin Ran walked over. Looking at the scene of the two sides arguing, they listened a few times and roughly knew what was going on. Yi Xian then took a step forward and shouted, Shut your mouths. For a moment, the atmosphere gradually fell silent. Everyone was shocked by this child's voice and looked over. Seeing that everyone was looking at him, Yi Xian cleared his throat and continued speaking. You crossed the solid line and changed lanes to stop a car. You violated the traffic rules and caused a traffic accident. If you keep blocking the road here, the cars behind us won't be able to leave either. Hurry up and move aside, or we'll call the police. Lu Yin Ran echoed. That's right. If you continue to block the road here, do you know how much traffic you'll cause? I don't know how many people are still in a hurry to travel. I advise you to move aside quickly. Otherwise, we'll call the police immediately. Everyone looked at Lu Yin Ran and Yi Xian, and then at the driver. They immediately understood. They're in cahoots. Instead of helping us save the dog, they're helping the dog thief escape. How can there be ingrates like you? As a precious mother, why are you here instead of bringing your son home to feed him? What kind of people are they? They look human, but their hearts are so black. Instead of finding a good job, they colluded with a dog thief and harmed so many dogs. They're really worse than beasts. Is the driver your husband or your boss? You're disgusting. 
Can't you see that there are so many dogs? I really want to slap her twice. Bastard. She's inhumane. There are so many dogs imprisoned in the truck. How much pain have they suffered? Quick, quickly capture the two of them and let everyone see their faces. Kill them on the internet. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone, hurry up and take photos. Take a careful photo and let everyone in China take a good look. Lu Yin ran, and Yi Xin couldn't help but frown when they saw them like this. It was difficult for them to argue with these people, so they didn't say anything and let them curse. They only hoped that the police would come early. Fortunately, this place was not far from the nearest police station. After a while, the police car arrived in the middle of the road. Two or three uniformed police officers got out of the police car and were at a loss when they saw this situation. What's wrong? Did you get into a car accident? Hey, 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 be quiet over there. Is anyone injured? A police officer behind narrowed his eyes and observed the event location. Captain Chun, it looks like no one was injured. The cars aren't damaged much, and there's no blood on the ground. However, it looks like the car deliberately changed lanes, causing the big truck to move sideways and cause an accident. Captain Chun nodded and walked to the middle of the three parties. He opened his hand to signal for silence. Officer, you came at the right time. Look at that dog thief. He stole a car full of dogs and was prepared to get away with it. We couldn't bear to see him like this, so we tried our best to stop his big truck. That's right, officer. Look, there's a shrew over there who's an accomplice of the dog thief. Instead of speaking up for us, she's helping the dog thief. You police, hurry up and catch that dog thief. Lock him up for decades. It won't be too much even if he's shot. There's a large truck of dogs who are the apples of many people's eyes. That dog thief ruined the happiness of many families like this. I strongly suggest that they be shot. That dog thief should be shot. Shoot him. Shoot that scum of society. Shoot that beast. The crowd began to boil again, as if they were shouting slogans. Seeing that the group of people was making a fuss again, Captain Chen quickly raised his hand and gestured. Quiet, quiet. Quiet down. How are we going to handle the case if you're so noisy? Quiet down. We'll give an answer when the matter is investigated. Stop arguing. After saying this, the crowd slowly quieted down. Then, Captain Chan walked up to the driver and stuck his head out to look at the truck full of meat dogs. He nodded thoughtfully. Are these dogs going to be used as dog meat? The driver finally looked relieved as if he had seen his savior. That's right, that's right. Officer, these are all dogs that I bought that are specially used for consumption. I have the relevant documents and they're all legal businesses. Meanwhile, these people didn't say anything and came up to block my truck. If I hadn't reacted quickly, the truck would have overturned. That would have been serious. Perhaps someone would have died. In the end, look at them. They even scolded me for stealing dogs. When have I ever pilfered? All these years, I've been doing my business obediently. Now, I've even provoked such a situation. Sigh. My life is really bitter. The driver of the truck poured out all his grievances and sighed. He looked sad and pitiful. Captain Shin roughly understood what was going on, but he still had to abide by his professional ethics. Hence, he looked straight at the driver and nodded. Did you bring your identification card? Bring it over for me to take a look. Show me your driver's license too. Yes, yes. I always have them with me. The driver hurriedly nodded and climbed into the car. He opened the car cabinet and took out his identification card. He brought it to the police with a smile. He knew that with the police in charge, things would definitely become much simpler. Captain Chan took the document and looked at it. He nodded and returned the identification card to the driver. Then, he turned around and looked at the group of troublemakers with a meaningful gaze. Move aside. Don't hinder the traffic. There's nothing wrong with the driver. He's doing legal business. Besides, these are all dogs that are used for consumption. They're different from your pet dogs. They're food. The two police officers behind Captain Chun also spoke one after another. Move aside. Whose car is that? Come out and show us your identification. Later, the tow truck will tow it back. The owner of the car will come with us. You're suspected of provoking others and even change lanes, causing a traffic accident. This is not a small matter. Let me tell you. Everyone, 
spread out and clear the way. Look at how long the line of blocked cars is at the back. Hurry up and spread out. If you don't leave, I'll bring you back to the police station later and examine you one by one. However, the dog lovers did not stop there. When they heard the police's words, their anger surged and they even spoke rudely to the police. What are you policemen doing? They steal dogs. Can't you see that there are so many dogs? What bullsh asterisk T certificates and qualifications? Can't you see how uncomfortable the dogs are in the truck? Do you know what the fate of those dogs will be next? How can you bear to do this? It's a mess. This world is a mess. The police are speaking up for dog thieves. Is there still justice? Does the law still exist? He's a dog thief. So many of us saw him steal a dog with our own eyes. Policeman, take him away. That's right. If he doesn't release the dogs, and if you don't capture the dog thief, we'll continue to block the road here until you do something. Lu Yinran looked at these people and was furious. She shouted at them. Hurry up and move aside. How can there be such unreasonable people like you? Do you think you're in the right just because you have more people? You dog lovers are the most proactive when it comes to pestering others endlessly. You're always using a bunch of twisted logic. Pfft. You be asterisk tisich. Are you blind? There are so many dogs still suffering, but you're still standing there and blabbering on. What it be asterisk teach? Capture that shrew too. Otherwise, we won't leave. Capture that brat too. He's so young. But he learned how to scold people after learning from that shrew. That kid still wants to hit people. He even has a knife on him. He wants to slash people. As police officers, hurry up and take them away. Society resources are really wasted on ingrates. What police? You don't even have the ability to distinguish right from wrong. Why are you a police officer? Take off your hat. If you don't let that dog thief release the dogs today, we'll sue your leader tomorrow. If your leader doesn't care, we'll report it until someone interferes with this matter. The more the dog lovers scolded them, the more excited they became. Their mouths were full of saliva, and there was a commotion, blocking the intersection. Everyone was filming a video. Some emotional people even smashed their second-hand strawberry brand cell phones, which had been bought for 300 yuan, into pieces when they got excited. Seeing their indignant expressions, Captain Chun kept waving his hand. Silence. Everyone, quieten down. What's all the noise about? However, the dog lovers continued to scold him. They ignored the police and even scolded them even more. Seeing this scene, the police officers did not know what to do. Although it was said that they would be arrested for causing trouble, it was actually just a threat. It was already a headache to arrest all these people. Not to mention the fact that they had to check if everyone had a criminal record. He had to look at everyone's records, record confessions, and so on. Moreover, from the looks of it, they would probably not be detained according to the law. If they wanted to capture all of them, they would probably have to send people from the headquarters. These people were restless and would probably cause trouble when they returned to the police post. Captain Chun sighed and rubbed his temples. His head hurt when he saw this situation. Meanwhile, Yi Xian swept his gaze across the crowd and sneered. Photo then. He picked up his phone and took a clear of the faces of the troublemakers. He sent the news reposted on Weibo to Lu Zonglin of the Dinglong Corporation. Behind the video and Weibo message was a short sentence. Investigate this matter thoroughly, deal with what needs to be dealt with, and ban those who need to be banned. Do it immediately. Meanwhile, in the general manager's office of the Dinglong Corporation branch office, Lu Zonglin was sitting in a leather chair and looking at a report in his hand when he heard his cell phone ring with a notification. He didn't think too much about it. His gaze was still on the newspaper. He reached out to take the phone and looked at the lock screen interface. He looked at the sender ID of the message. Then, he suddenly sat up straight. Why did the chairman send a message? He frowned and muttered. Then, he hurriedly unlocked his cell phone and focused on reading the message. After reading it for a few minutes, Lu Zonglin leaned back in his chair and let out a long sigh. He could clearly see the anger in Yi Xin's words. He didn't dare to delay and immediately used the landline to make a call. Beep. 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 Click. Hello? Who is this? It's me, Lu Zhenglin. The dog lovers raised their cell phones high, as if this was a press conference. From time to time, 
They would take photos of the helpless police officers standing in the field. From time to time, they would turn the camera to Lu Yinran and Yi Xin before pointing the phone at the driver. What happened today was really infuriating. Not only did the dog thief not admit his mistake, but there was also a bitch who excused him halfway. It's really amazing. There were even police officers who didn't catch the dog thief and even threatened us to arrest us if he continued to cause trouble. Family, take a look. This is the style of the contemporary police. They don't care about the dog thief. Instead, they wanted to arrest us. It's too melodramatic. Even television dramas don't dare to film such stories. How can there be such police officers? How did the police headquarters choose such people? It's too ridiculous. What a group of dogs in cahoots. There are unreliable police officers, a dog thief who doesn't admit that he's a dog thief, and a bitch with a bastard. At first, there were more civilized scoldings. Later on, their scolding was full of dirty words. When they opened their mouths, they were like capable modern poets. Are you dead? You useless thing? Are you dead? Can the police do this or not? If they can't do this, can you F asterisk king go back and be a dog? Why aren't you catching him? Why are you threatening us? F asterisk CKU, dog thief? I'm your biological father. Are you dead? You stupid thing. F asterisk CKU idiot. You be asterisk TCH. You brought a bastard, a black fungus. When they were excited from scolding, they even started mocking them. Half of them were cursing and the other half were laughing. Hearing this, Captain Chin's eyes widened in anger and the two police officers behind him gritted their teeth. Captain Chun, we? What are we protecting? Captain Chun touched his face, not knowing how to answer this question. He stood rooted to the ground in a daze, thinking about how to deal with the dog lovers. As he thought about it, he also wondered how to answer this question. After a while, Captain Chen turned his head and smiled at the two young police officers. This is our job, for the country and for the nation. Don't forget those cute people who sent you umbrellas in the rain, and those who helped you unconditionally when you were on guard duty and on missions. This is our mission. Actually, think about it from the other side. These people committed such actions because society is safe and the country is strong. They have a safe environment and a good life. That's why it's like this. There will always be some problematic people in a country. It will get better. Trust your mission and the people. When the two young police officers heard this, they nodded as if they understood. Meanwhile, the verified Weibo celebrity, Wu Xinxin, was lying in bed and scrolling through her cell phone. When she saw videos pop up one after another on her phone, she smiled in satisfaction. Then, she opened Weibo and reposted the videos of the dog lovers arguing with the police and the driver. Moreover, she had used all her connections to tag people everywhere. They were all famous accounts with relatively good influence. For a moment, the video became a trending topic. In just half an hour, countless comments appeared at the bottom of the video. Oh my god, what's wrong with the police nowadays? Wow, the scene looks so intense. Why does that dog thief still dare to stand there? Isn't he embarrassed? Why didn't the police arrest him? Those dogs are so pitiful. The dog thief really deserves to die. Sometimes, I really feel that it's a pity that the country eliminated the punishment of death by dismemberment. I agree with the person above. Sigh, that beauty looks so beautiful. She has a good figure and face. I didn't expect her to be the accomplice of the dog thief. After all, I'm afraid she had no choice but to do such a thing because of her life. Don't fight with me. I'm already on my way to adopt her. The people above, did you see what the girl was wearing? She definitely doesn't lack money. I guess there must be something else. At putting Zhang's hat on Li's head, what you said makes sense. Moreover, I don't think that child is hers. She's so young. So he definitely isn't her child. She doesn't look like her brother either. She might be a relative. Why are we talking about the identity of a beauty from the topic of stealing dogs? Sweat. Wu Xinxin reposted and tagged people crazily. When she saw her number of fans rise linearly, she was extremely happy. I can get 20 million fans today? Maybe 30 million? Haha, ha, if I can get 50 million, I'll make a comeback. By the way, let's take a look at the latest cell phone. Someone should be looking for me to advertise it later. Who asked me to be so popular now? 
The advertising fee will definitely increase. Yes, I'll double it. After all, I'm so popular. Haha. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's indeed fast to gain fans on such topics. In the future, I really have to walk around, play, and find more such topics. Wu Xin, who was making plans beautifully, did not know that a storm was about to arrive. She opened the Taodong online shopping platform and looked at the strawberry cell phones for a long time. The latest model had just been released, and she was thinking about it when an opportunity came. After choosing a model and adding it to the shopping cart, she opened Weibo again to see if there were any messages asking for business cooperation or advertisements in her private messages. There were more than 99 private messages overwhelming her. Just as she was scrolling through them excitedly, all her private messages suddenly disappeared. Her screen was blank. Everything had disappeared, including her account. Then, a few words appeared on her personal homepage. Your account has been blocked. Wu Jinxin was stunned when she saw this scene. This, what's going on? Could it be that my account was banned by mistake? Frowning, she opened her contact list and found a phone number to call. Beep, beep. Hello? Who is this? Supervisor, it's me, Wu Jinxin, Little Wu. Um, why did my Weibo account get banned by mistake? Help me take a look. I'm very popular now, and I'm waiting to gain fans. Popular? So you do know that you're popular. Do you know how serious your actions are? You seriously disrupted the order of society and spread fake publicity. It's already good enough that you weren't arrested. Do you still want to remove the ban on your account? Moreover, if the general manager takes action this time, it will be permanently suspended. You don't have to think about lifting the ban in your lifetime. Just wait for a huge compensation. Beep. Beep. The call had already ended. Wu Jinxin was in a daze. Her cell phone fell from her hand onto the bed, causing a series of vibrations. At the location of the accident, just as the dog lovers were spouting nonsense indignantly, their cell phones rang one after another. What? President Liu, no. Why did you fire me? I... There's nothing wrong with my work. Huh? I'm on leave today. I'm attending an event outside. Why? No, boss. Why did you fire me? Don't. Chairman Zhang. I've worked hard for the company for so many years. Even if I don't have any credit, I've worked hard. You can't kick someone to the curb when they've outlived their usefulness. Chairman Zhang, please give me a chance. If I don't have a job, what will happen to my wife and children at home? Boss Li, you're wrong to say that. What do you mean by I did something I shouldn't have done? Is it wrong for people in this society to be kind? If I turn a blind eye and everyone turns a blind eye, how can there be good people in this society in the future? Someone has to stand up? Boss, give me a chance. I really have something especially important to do today, so I had no choice but to leave. I'll go back immediately. I'm already on the way and I'll be there soon. Don't, don't, boss. Don't fire me. I'll be there soon. I really have some reasons for not being able to resist. I'll go back to the company immediately. I swear that this will be the last time I leave work during working hours. Huh. What? What do you mean I don't have to come back? The crowd gradually lost their momentum. After they answered the calls, they collapsed to the ground. Their jobs were all gone. Suddenly, they were all fired. No one was spared. In this era where society was so competitive, they knew very well what it meant to lose a job. Captain Chun and the two young police officers were also stunned on the spot. They did not know what had happened or what they should do next. They looked at one another blankly. It seems like the higher-ups have taken action. Captain Chin's sharp gaze swept around as he muttered. Then, he picked up his phone and called the tow truck. This is the sixth unit of the police station. Come to Huangjing Expressway to tow some cars. Yes. The matter has been resolved. I don't know. You don't know who did it either? Was there no news from the higher-ups? All right, I understand. Captain Chun, it's fine. Let's go back to the police station. Then these people, don't worry about them. The matter is over. The traffic police will deal with it later. There's no need to ask. With that, Captain Chen walked straight back to the police car with two young police officers following closely behind. The police car slowly retreated. After turning around, it quickly left the location. The location was filled with wailing and sobbing. 
The crowd was filled with a melancholic aura, and no one was noisy anymore. The driver was also a little stunned, but since no one was causing trouble anymore, he finally heaved a long sigh of relief. They quietly waited for the tow truck to arrive. After clearing the small cars blocking the way, he could set off as soon as possible to avoid delaying the delivery time. After a while, the tow truck arrived as scheduled. It drove straight to the middle of the road and ruthlessly dragged the two cars back to the traffic police headquarters. Then, it quickly left. The driver jumped into the truck, started the engine, and slowly drove away. After the previous accident, he drove even more carefully, afraid that something would happen again. The cars behind the truck slowly followed. From the sound of the horns, one could tell how uncomfortable and angry they were. Yi Xin and Lu Yin Ran also returned to the car and drove away. The dog lovers watched as Lu Yin Ran and Yi Xin drove the luxury car slowly. Only then did they understand. They, they're not in cahoots with that dog thief. Look at their luxury car. The price is enough for the chauffeur to buy several trucks. How can they be in cahoots with him? Which corporation is she a daughter of? Sai, it's all my fault for being blind. Anyone who can drive such a luxury car must not be simple. I wonder if she took words I scolded her with previously to heart. I told you not to do this, but you didn't listen. Good John. With this outcome, you're all happy, right? Are you talking about yourself? You're the fiercest. Are you telling me this now? Aya, stop arguing. Before she leaves, hurry up and apologize. Let's see if she can forgive everyone. When everyone heard this, they felt that it made sense and hurriedly ran up. Because the road had just been cleared, the cars in front started driving slowly. So Lu Yin ran, and Yi Xin's luxury cars drove more slowly. Basically, once the cars in front moved a little, the cars at the back would also move a little. The dog lovers also saw this opportunity and rushed forward. Miss, they pulled me here. It's none of my business. Can you give me a chance? I didn't mean to offend you. I was blind. It's my fault. You can hit me or scold me. Give me a chance. Boss, give me a chance. Please. Boss, stop for a moment. I was really wrong. Listen to me. I was hired by them. It really has nothing to do with me. However, by the time they ran over, the car in front of them had already accelerated and the traffic became smooth. Lu Yin Ran did not hesitate and stepped on the accelerator to follow them. She closed the window and ignored the people chasing after her. Everyone chased after the luxury car for a distance. As the luxury car sped up, they really could not catch up. As they watched the luxury car get further and further away from their sight, everyone finally realized that there was nothing they could do to make up for it. Hence, they all collapsed to the ground, regretful voices rising and falling. Sigh, I told you that person was not simple, but you didn't believe me. Who are you talking about? Hindsight is 20 to 20. Great, now I don't even have a job. I knew it. This method of riding on popularity is not good. It's very risky. I didn't believe it. Who are you talking about? You were the fastest. After returning to the city, Lu Yin ran, and Yi Xian casually found a restaurant by the roadside to eat before going home. As soon as he arrived home, he saw his fourth sister, Yi Chan, scrolling through her cell phone. Her eyes were shining, and he did not know what she was looking at. Fourth sister, I'm back? Yi Xian called out softly and changed into slippers at the entrance. Only then did Yi Chan react. She raised her eyebrows and ran over with small steps. Ah, Xiao Xian is back. She rubbed Yi Xian's face and spoke dotingly. Your small face is still so cute. Why are you back so late? Have you eaten? What do you want to eat? Your fourth sister will make it for you. Yi Xian felt the massage on his face and was a little speechless. He muttered, Eva eat then. I ate at a restaurant outside with Lu Yin Ran. It tastes good. Ah, young brat, you eat outside every day and don't even know how to come back to eat with your fourth sister. Humph, isn't your fourth sister's food delicious? Tell your fourth sister honestly. Yi Chan crossed her arms and looked like an adult giving a lecture. Yi Xian glanced at her and waved his hand speechlessly. Isn't it for convenience? There's no need to trouble my fourth sister. As he spoke, he took a step forward and grinned at Yi Chan's bulging stomach. Then, he reached out his small hand and gently rubbed it. 
He looked up at Yi Chan and spoke. Fourth sister, you seem to have eaten a lot. When Yi Chan heard this, she glared at Yi Xian like a sister. Himph, you talk too much. Although she was angry, Yi Chan did feel that she had eaten too much. Her stomach was a little uncomfortable. She rubbed it and had an idea. Let's go out for a run to digest. I'm not going. I'm so tired. I just want to lie down. Let's go. Come with your fourth sister. Otherwise, can you bear to leave your fourth sister alone? Fourth sister. I really don't want to go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Xiao Xian is the most obedient. Accompany your fourth sister. When you come back, I'll reward you with toys. Your fourth sister will buy you whatever you want. Yevuan similet bitterli. Forget about toys. He didn't want anything else. However, Yi Chan did not seem to have any intention of stopping. Forget it. Forget it. He would accompany her so that she won't annoy him again. All right, fourth sister. I'll go and change. Xiao Xian is so cute. Yi Chan rubbed Yi Xian's little face and continued. Hurry up. I'll go and change too. If it's not easy to change, remember to call your fourth sister. Your fourth sister will help you change. As Yi Xian thought about these things, he walked into the room and casually changed into a short sleeve shirt and shorts. Wearing simple clothes, Yi Xian felt much more relaxed. A clear and refreshing feeling swept through his entire body, making Yi Xian let out a comfortable sigh. Then, he walked out of the room. Yi Chan had just changed into her sportswear. She was wearing a white visor and secured her long hair behind her head. She was wearing a tight short-sleeved shirt, and her chest was high. It was estimated that her chest size was D. She was wearing a pair of super short pants, revealing her jade-like legs. Her legs were fair and slightly red. The ratio was perfect. Her slender waist and long legs were curvy. Her skin was pale and her eyes were bright. She looked like a rare beauty. Yi Xian looked at Yi Chan's body and could not help but sigh. He thought to himself that her genes were really powerful. She lived streamed at home all day and did not go out to exercise. The number of steps she took in a day could be counted on one hand, but she was not fat at all. If word got out, countless people would be green with envy. Young brat, what are you looking at? Yi Chan felt Yi Xian's burning gaze and smiled. She chided him resentfully. Yi Xian pursed his lips, but he wasn't embarrassed. After all, he was only seven years old now. With such a young body, what bad thoughts could he have? I was just wondering why you didn't gain weight, fourth sister. Huh? You can't wait for your fourth sister to gain weight, right? No, I didn't think about it that way. Then what are you thinking about? Hurry up and tell me the truth. Yi Xian grinned and was a little speechless. He already knew how women thought. Hence, he did not continue arguing with her and took the lead to leave. Yi Chan was still changing her shoes. Seeing this, she could not help but shout. Hey, 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 come back. Young brat, wait for me. The two of them chased each other to the road. This road did not belong to the main road. There were not many cars passing by, so it was especially suitable for morning exercises and night runs. At this time, there were already many people running on the road. They were either training in groups or alone. There were even some small internet celebrities who specialized in live streaming. Seeing these people pretend to run a short distance to take a video and leave, Yi Xian laughed in his heart. Yi Chan placed her hand flat on her eyes and made a gesture of looking into the distance. She looked thoughtfully at the end of the road. Then, she looked down at the short Yi Xian and nodded. Uh-huh. Let's do it here. Are you ready? After saying this, she took a step forward and jogged out. Yi Xian followed closely behind her and sighed when he saw that her movements were a little stiff from lack of exercise. The journey was smooth. From time to time, some young people on both sides of the road would look sideways. When they saw Yi Chan's figure and the trembling beauty of her chest, discussions quietly sounded. Hey, look at that running lady. Her figure, Tisk Tsk. F asterisk Sige. This girl is really good. She has a beautiful face and a good figure. I can play with her for 10 years. Forget it. Go forward and ask for her WeChat. Let's see if she ignores you. I'm afraid this girl is a model. She has long legs and is curvy. She's really perfect. It's possible. Who do you think that little kid beside her is? It's obvious. It must be her younger brother. 
Little sister is so young. Could it be that she raised such a big child? Sister, look at that woman. She stuck out her chest and gave her a domineering look. Damn, who asked her to have such a figure? If I had such a figure, I would run like this too. I would have to show it to those smelly men and make them crave it. Yi Chan ran by herself and did not hear the discussions of the surrounding people. She was already sweating slightly, and her breathing was still stable. She should be fine after running for another ten minutes. Just as she was making plans, she saw a little guy beside her walking with his short legs. His speed gradually increased. In just two breaths, he had already run ahead and surpassed her by two meters. When Yi Chan saw Yi Xian's speed, she muttered in her heart, This young brat is not big and his legs are short. He's not slow and even surpassed me by so much. Humph, your fourth sister will teach you a good lesson. At the thought of this, her legs suddenly sped up and caught up. It wasn't until she surpassed Yi Xian that she turned around and smiled smugly at Yi Xian. However, before she could leave, Yi Xian caught up and left Yi Chan behind. When Yi Chan saw this, she pursed her lips and snorted in her heart. Himph, this young brat is competing. Forget it, your fourth sister will let you know what an insurmountable gap is today. Therefore, Yi Chan used all her strength and tried to leave Yi Xian far behind. Moreover, she wanted to reach a distance that he could not catch up with her with his short legs. The jog became a 100-meter sprint, but her opponent was a seven-year-old brat. However, just as Yi Chan overtook Yi Xian, Yi Xian immediately followed and overtook her again. Yi Chan was unconvinced and ran even faster. However, every time she surpassed Yi Xian, she would immediately be overtaken by him. In the end, she couldn't even catch up to Yi Xian's short legs. Her physical fitness had already begun to decrease. Yi Chan panted heavily and slowed down a lot. Her face was covered in hot sweat that dripped down her face, adding a different kind of beauty to her charming face. Her lips were as red and tempting as cherries, and her beautiful hair was scattered behind her head, forming a beautiful arc with the breeze. Yi Xian looked at Yi Chan, who was gradually slowing down and running until she was out of breath. He revealed a mocking smile and laughed out loud. Fourth sister, what's wrong with you? Can't you run anymore? Yi Chan glared at Yi Xian resentfully and did not say anything. She slowly stopped. She couldn't even run anymore, but this young brat could still speak. He didn't seem to be panting at all. What kind of terrifying physical fitness was this? You, you young brat. Stop, I can't run anymore. Yi Xian had already slowed down. When he heard her shout, he turned around and walked back leisurely. Yi Xian didn't blush or pant, as if nothing had happened. Fourth sister, you lack training. You can't even outrun a primary school student like me. Wouldn't it be a joke if word got out? Humph, who asked you to run so fast? Don't you know how to give in to your fourth sister? How can you be a boy? You don't even know how to give in to girls. Yi Xian was shocked by these words and smiled bitterly in his heart. It seemed that his fourth sister Yi Chan's stubbornness had been activated again. Just as he was about to speak, he saw Yi Chan sitting on a chair by the roadside and waving at him. Hurry up and massage your fourth sister's legs. They're sore. I don't have any strength left. Massage her legs? Yi Xian looked at her fair legs. Without hesitation, he went forward and placed his small hand on her white leg. A soft touch immediately surged into his heart. Yi Chan did not have the physique that allowed her to sweat easily. Coupled with the dry wind, there were no sweat stains on her body. She was soft and smooth with a warm body temperature. Hmm, your little hands are quite strong. Your massage is quite comfortable. Not bad, not bad. You can also massage my knees. Yes, yes, that's it. Hmm, it's comfortable. Fourth sister, when you're free, come out and walk around more. Exercise is good for your body. That's, that's because there's no one to accompany me. It's so boring for me to come out alone. I might as well stay at home. You can call your best friends and sisters over to form a morning training team. Wouldn't that be interesting? You can also stroll around and look at the scenery. When Yi Chan heard this, her eyes darkened. After a moment of silence, she waved her hand and said, Come on, each of them is busier than the other. All right, stop massaging me. Let's go back. As she spoke, she touched Yi Xian's head and grabbed his small hand. She pulled him up and walked home. 
When I have time another day, your fourth sister will bring you to the amusement park. How is it? Do you want to play there? Hee <laughs> hee. Yi Xin sighed in his heart. He didn't have any feelings for amusement parks and didn't know how to respond. After some thought, he replied to her. No, we can go to the zoo. I want to see tigers. The aquarium is not bad either. Fourth sister, where do you like to go? As for me, Yi Chan was in a dilemma. It seemed that she had never deliberately thought about this problem. I don't know either. The beach? Hmm. It's quite romantic to go to Mount Everest to see the stars hanging in the night sky, but it's meaningless to go alone. When a young brat like you grows up and your fourth sister still can't find a partner, I'll drag you there. There are so many people pursuing you, but you don't like any of them. Who can you blame? Yi Xian whispered at the side. Yi Chan glanced at Yi Xian and snorted. How can that be the same? You don't even know what those stinky men are like. The person I like is definitely a peerless hero. One day, he will step on an iridescent cloud to welcome me. He will bring me to the beach to see the sea view and accompany me to Mount Everest to see the stars. Ah, how romantic. Yi Xian looked at Yi Chan's intoxicated appearance and smiled bitterly. He was not surprised that people who were dumbfounded from watching television dramas were like this. After walking for a while, the two of them returned home. According to tradition, Yi Chan usually used the bathroom first, and this time was no exception. Yi Xian couldn't be bothered to argue. He turned on the air conditioner and swiped his cell phone on the sofa. He took a sip of cola and burped comfortably. He was not in a hurry. With Yi Chan's bath speed, it would take at least half an hour. He was already used to it. Looking at the short videos on his cell phone, Yi Xian laughed out loud. At this moment, a message popped up on the top of his cell phone. Brother Yi, if you have time tomorrow, come out and have a meal with us. Yi Xian looked up and saw the note. Jinling Young Master Lu Yun. He clicked on it and typed a reply. Sure. Set a place and pick me up tomorrow. All right. The arrangements have been made. After turning off his cell phone, Yi Xian stretched his back. At this moment, the bathroom door finally opened. Yi Chan was wrapped in a towel. As she wiped her hair with the towel, she looked at Yi Xian and spoke. Go, go. Remember to drain the bathtub after soaking in it. Don't forget again. Just put the dirty clothes in the laundry basket. Your fourth sister will help you wash them. Yi Xian looked at Yi Chan's fairy-like appearance and nodded in a daze. Don't worry, fourth sister. I won't forget this time. Then, he returned to his room to get his pajamas and walked into the bathroom. As usual, a fragrance rushed into Yi Xian's nose. He looked at the hot water in the big bathtub that had almost been filled, took off his sweaty clothes, and dove into it. Then, he lay down comfortably and enjoyed the pleasure of the hot water hitting his skin. After a while, Yi Xian dried his hair and changed into his pajamas. He walked into the bedroom and lay comfortably on the bed. He took out his phone scrolled through short videos, and fell asleep. It was a dreamless night. The next day, Yi Xian woke up early and prepared a table full of dishes. When the last dish was placed on the table, his fourth sister Yi Chan yawned and crawled out of her room in a daze. She walked into the bathroom to take a shower. After washing up, she looked at the table full of dishes and sat down in a daze. Young brat, when did you learn to cook? Yi Xian pursed his lips and said, I learned it from online videos. Not bad. You learn just by watching videos. Xiao Xin is quite talented. Yi Chan's eyes lit up as she looked at the table full of dishes. She picked up her chopsticks and stuffed a piece of meat into her mouth. She chewed twice and hummed. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, Xiao Xin. It's so delicious. Hmm. This soup is not bad either. This prawn is also delicious. Wow, this is good. This is delicious. Wow. I've always wanted to eat lion's head one. Not bad, young brat. You know how to make this. Hmm. Not bad. It's much better than the last time I ate in the hotel. Aya. Uh, this red braised pork is crystal clear, soft, and refreshing. Impressive. Xiao Xian. You learn so well just by watching videos. I can't even learn after watching videos. Ahem. Your fourth sister often posts some cooking videos. I'll show them to you another day. Yi Chan praised him as she devoured the food, not caring about her appearance at all. After a while, she collapsed comfortably on the chair and patted her stomach, 
letting out a long sigh of satisfaction. Yes, after your fourth sister's very serious evaluation, the taste of these dishes is passable. They're not salty or tasteless. As a newbie, you've already done very well. Since you're so talented, when you're more familiar with it, your fourth sister will teach you her special cooking skills. At that time, you have to learn it seriously. When Yixian heard this, a question mark appeared on his face. Didn't she know her own culinary skills? Did she have a huge misunderstanding about her own strength? Those dishes she made. I, although he was thinking about it, he did not say it out loud. After Yichan finished speaking, she looked at the clock and rushed into her room. It's time for my live stream. You don't have to care about the bowls on the table. I'll clean up later. Go play. After saying that, she closed the door with a bang. Yi Xian did not reply. He looked at the oily soup, rice grains, vegetable stems, bones, and some crushed peppers scattered around Yi Chan's table. He sighed helplessly. Hence, after washing the dishes and cleaning the table, he slipped out of the villa. He thought that Lu Yun would be waiting for him at the entrance, but when he walked out of the villa area, he was surprised not to see Lu Yun's sports car. Yi Xian was stunned. Just as he was feeling puzzled, he saw a person get off the Passat not far away and shout at him, Brother Yi, here. Yi Xian raised his eyebrows and walked over. He looked at the car and was happy. Heh, why are you driving this car? Where's the sports car? Lu Yun's face darkened as he complained. Sai, Brother Yi, don't speak anymore. Didn't I go to my father's company to work? In the end, he thought that it was too ostentatious for me to drive a sports car, so he asked me to drive this. Haha, <laughs> not bad. At least it can still be driven. Yi Xian teased her and opened the car door. Let's go. Drive slowly on the road. All right. With the sound of the engine, the car slowly drove forward. The road was clear and unobstructed. Even the traffic lights seemed to favor the two of them. After driving for a while, they arrived at their destination. This place was not far away. Lu Yun must have specially chosen it. There were many people gathered at the entrance of the hotel, as if they were welcoming someone. These people were dressed in formal clothes and were all young people. The men were all young masters of various corporations, and the women were the daughters of various families. They had an extraordinary aura and were in high spirits. One look, and one could tell that they were different from passers-by. Everyone was standing at the entrance of the hotel with nothing to do. When they saw Yi Xian get out of the car, they immediately welcomed him. Brother Yi is here. Hello, Brother Yi. Greetings, Brother Yi. Brother Yi is still so mighty. Brother Yi, it's been hard on you. Everyone exchanged pleasantries. Then, they looked at Lu Yun, who was in the driver's seat, and Lu Yun's Passat. They couldn't help but smile at one another and teased him. I owe Brother Yun. What's wrong with you? Why are you in a Passat? Do you want to drive my sports car, Brother Yun? We're all brothers. It's only a small problem to lend it to you for ten years. TSK TSK, Brother Yun, tell us if you have any difficulties. We'll help you think of a way. Hey, hey, everyone, don't talk nonsense. Brother Yun is just tired of driving sports cars and wants to drive these civilian cars. Don't take offense. The corners of Lu Yun's mouth curled up slightly. Without saying anything, he started the car and drove into the basement. These people were all quite sarcastic. Although they were mocking him, they were just teasing him. Meanwhile, Yi Xian was escorted into the hotel by everyone. When the attendant saw this scene, she was dumbfounded. The identities of these young masters and young ladies were known to the attendants of high-end hotels like them. However, even such a group of young masters and young ladies actually bowed down to that child. If it were anyone else, they would be dumbfounded. Yi Xian didn't say anything. He followed everyone to the second floor and entered a super luxurious private room. The cold dishes on the table were ready. There was a cabinet full of wine, all of which were famous wines. When the attendant on the second floor saw that the guests had already come up, she immediately informed the kitchen. Right on the heels of that, hot dishes were served one after another. Yi the moment he entered the private room, Xian was pushed by everyone to sit at the main seat. This seat faced the door and was at the head of the long table. According to the rules on the table, this was the seat that belonged to the head of the group. Seat, seat. Everyone sit. Yi Xian waved his hand, 
indicating for everyone to sit down. Everyone sat down one by one. At this moment, Lu Yun entered and sat beside Yu Xian. The attendant had already opened the red wine and placed it in the wine cabinet to sober up. The fragrance of the wine filled the air, attracting the attention of some people. How about we drink some white wine to moisten our throats first? All right, young Master Li, how are you going to drink today? That's still based on young Master Huang. After all, with my drinking method, I'm afraid you won't be able to withstand it. Io, Io, I don't know who vomited all night in the toilet bowl last time and almost drowned in it. Fortunately, I can hold my liquor well and my mind was clear. Thus, I discovered this pitiful worm. Otherwise, someone would have been in trouble. As soon as the two of them spoke, everyone burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha. In my opinion, let's still play 18 notes this time. How about that? 18 notes was a multi-person game. It was playable and fair, and was extremely suitable for drinking at tables. No way, are we playing 18 notes again? Sister Ma, let's play another game this time. I still want to drink more wine. Look, she's making Miss Ming so proud. Let's play 18 notes this time. I don't believe that we can't break her undefeatable legend. All right, let's teach Ming Meili a lesson. Agreed. Agreed. Yixian quietly watched the commotion and didn't say anything. His body was only seven years old now. He couldn't drink, so he couldn't play. He casually drank some drinks, ate some dishes, and chatted with others. This meal passed. After eating, he was bored and started scrolling on his phone. Everyone was still playing 18 notes excitedly. It was extremely lively, and they only finished their meal after two hours. After eating, the group walked out of the hotel. Yixian and Lu Yun walked into the parking lot, while the other group went to the parking lot on the other side to get their cars. After entering the parking lot and turning left and right, they finally arrived. However, the scene in front of them stunned the two of them. A Porsche Panamera couldn't find a parking space and parked horizontally in front of the Passat. It was completely blocked, leaving no gap. In an instant, Lu Yun was furious. No, what's wrong with this person? who specially parks in front of someone else's car to block their parking position. Who is this person? What does he mean? As he spoke, Lu Yun glanced around. There were luxury cars parked all around. He was the only one driving a Passat. The other party chose his car instead of other cars. Their meaning was obvious. It was obvious that they did not dare to bully a luxury car. They would bully a person who drove a Passat. He would not dare to do anything to them. When Lu Yun saw this scene, his face flushed red. He gritted his teeth and could not help but curse softly. F asterisk CK, they made me a target. Does this dog want to pick on me? F asterisk CK, he really doesn't take me seriously. Then, he walked around the Porsche and saw a number through the glass. Then, he cursed and made a call. Beep, beep. Hello? Who is this? The call was answered by a young voice. Lu Yun suppressed his anger and spoke patiently to his cell phone. Hello, the Porsche in the parking lot is your car, right? Ah, right. What's the matter? Please move the car. Why did you park the car in front of someone else's car and block it so tightly? My car can't even come out. If you can't find a parking space, you can go to another place to park. What do you mean by blocking someone's car? After Lu Yun finished speaking, he quietly waited for the other party's reply. The other party was noisy. From time to time, high-pitched singing could be heard. It was obvious that they were in a karaoke room. Beside him, a woman asked, What's wrong? Who is it? Did something happen? The man replied to the woman, It's fine. He's just a stinky loser who wants me to move the car. It's not enough for him to drive a Passat. He still has the cheek to occupy the parking space. I blocked him tightly to teach him a lesson. Hee <laughs> hee. That loser must be anxious to death. That's right. Look, he called and even asked me to move the car. I'm dying of laughter. After a conversation, the man leaned closer to his cell phone and spoke. Just wait there. I'll be there in a while. Then, he hung up. Lu Yun held his cell phone and his heart skipped a beat. Was he so arrogant? He said that he would come in a while, but it would probably take a few hours for him to come. From the conversation between the man and the woman, it was not difficult to tell that he wanted to block the Passat and wouldn't come. Even if they wanted to move,
they would only come and drive the Porsche Panamera away when they were done playing. Liu Yun naturally understood what this man meant, but after thinking about it, he still believed him for the time being. After all, he had already called him. No matter how arrogant he was, he wouldn't really leave him here and not move the car, right? Seeing him like this, Yixian couldn't help but ask, what did he say? He said that he would come over in a while. Let's wait here, brother Yi. Yi Xian nodded and didn't speak. He walked to the car and waited quietly. The two of them chatted for a while before looking around in boredom. After waiting for about half an hour, they still did not see anyone. The weather was terrifyingly hot, and the sweltering heat made Lu Yun feel uneasy. He took out his phone and called the other party. After the call was picked up, he still heard the sounds of the karaoke room. Clearly, Lu Yun had believed him wrongly. These people had no intention of moving at all. I told you to wait there. I'll come over in a while, but you're rushing me. What are you rushing me for? Are you rushing me? If you disturb my mood, you won't be able to bear the consequences of failure today. What do you mean by? Lu Yun hung up the phone. His eyes were filled with anger as he glared at the Porsche Panamera blocking the way. Meanwhile, in the karaoke room, you're my rose. You're my flower. The song was melodious but the pitch was not so accurate. In the middle of the sofa, a half-naked man with a tattoo was smoking. He looked at the phone that had been hung up and cursed. Stinky loser, how dare you hang up on me? F asterisk CK, should I give you respect? The men beside him, who were also half-naked and had tattoos all over their bodies, raised their glasses and persuaded him. Aya, don't be angry with the loser. Who cares? We're out to play. We have to be happy. That's right. He's just a stupid loser. He's not worth getting angry about. There's no need. He's like an idiot. He's in a bad mood. Call me. Call me. Call me. Drink one glass. Why are you angry? Everyone, drink one glass. Everyone responded. They raised their glasses and drank it in one gulp. At this moment, another person spoke. Isn't this bad? That loser won't do anything, right? When the car owner heard this, he waved his hand. What can happen? It's just a lousy Passat. My car is a Porsche Panamera Turbo S, 4.0T. It's worth 2 million yuan. Would he dare to touch it? The people beside him echoed. That's right. I don't think a stinky loser like him would dare to touch it. If he dares to touch it, he won't be able to afford it even if his car is smashed. That's right. That loser should be so anxious now. Ha ha ha. Lu Yun looked at the Porsche Panamera. The more he looked at it, the angrier he became. Then, he opened the door of the Passat and sat in it. He started the engine and stepped on the accelerator toward the Porsche. He bumped into it in an instant. Then, he reversed the car and stepped on the accelerator toward the Porsche. Once, twice, thrice. The Porsche gradually moved out with the impact. After an unknown number of times, he finally pushed away the Porsche which was a roadblock. He even dented the door and broke it. Lu Yun leisurely drove the car out and did not even look at the Porsche as if nothing had happened just now. Then, he waved at Yi Xian. Brother Yi, get in the car. Let's go. Yi Xian also smiled, opened the car door, and got in. Lu Yun leaned forward and looked at the head of the car. He nodded. I have to say that the Passat was constructed such that it is resistant. It wasn't destroyed after being hit so many times. There's just some paint scratched on it. It's not bad. I wonder how angry the owner will be when he sees his beloved car in such a state. Furthermore, it scratched with some paint from your car. What did he say on the phone? Damn, he's so arrogant. He told us to wait here and even scolded me for rushing him. He's so arrogant. When Yi Xian heard this, the corners of his lips curled up. This person is interesting. As they spoke, the car left the parking lot and met up with another group of people. Everyone was standing outside the car and chatting. When they saw that the front of the Passat was so scratched, they surrounded it and asked, What's wrong? Why did the car become like this? It was fine when we came. Why did it become like this after stopping for a while? Who scratched it? This is. Io, it's a little dented. Is this. A collision? Seeing that everyone was so enthusiastic, Lu Yun told them what had just happened. When everyone heard this, they sobered up and sneered. Isn't this person too arrogant? 
It's a crappy Porsche Panamera. They really think that there's something. Where did this guy come from? He's not sensible at all. How dare he block Brother Yun's car? All right, wait and see if that person calls Brother Yun later. If he dares to call, we'll teach him a lesson today. That's right. Wait for his call. I want to see where this person is from. He's so arrogant. Get in the car first. Let's continue our itinerary. Don't be disturbed. If he doesn't call, let him go. We'll deal with him after he calls. All right, let's go to the sea according to the original plan. Let's go. Hence, everyone got into the cars and the convoy drove straight to the sea. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you updated for future uploads.